Hey kids, well we have reached the end of day four, our last day of Bible Alive, and I'm, I'm pretty sad, but I'm also excited because we learned so much together. And today was a pretty cool day and an awesome story. So I wanna hear from you what your favorite things you learned about this week were. Um, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second. I want you to shout them out in your living room. Your favorite thing that you learned, or maybe your favorite story about Moses, okay? Ready, go, let's hear them. Yeah? Maybe baby Moses? Oh yeah, the 10th plague today? Yep. Yep, that was my favorite too, the 10th plague. So we learned today about the last plague that God sent on Egypt, the Passover. And they talked about, you learned all about um, from Miss Lori, and then in our craft from Miss Sally, about what happened and how that relates to another person in the Bible. Who was that? Jesus, yes. So how that relates to Jesus' story and what he did for us on the cross. So I hope that you use your gospel paper airplanes to tell your friends and tell your people at school when you go back to school and maybe someone down the neighborhood, you could throw a paper airplane at them and tell them about Jesus and what he's done for you and what he could do for them. So definitely do that because that's a super fun craft. Um, okay, so let's say our verse that we've been working on. All right, I'm gonna hold it up. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna hold it up one time and then we'll say it on our own. You ready? Everybody together. God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Exodus 3, 14. Great job. Okay, one last time all together now. You ready? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Exodus 3, 14. Great job. You know, the Bible tells us to hide God's word in our heart. And when we memorize scripture and we work on saying it over and over until we know it by heart, that's exactly what we're doing. We're hiding God's word in our heart so that whenever we need to remember it, it is right there and we can think back and say it in our minds or even say it out loud. So now you have a scripture verse memorized and you can say that anytime you want to. So I encourage you to do that. Um, I also have a really exciting announcement that's sort of unrelated to Moses, but it is related to Bible Alive. On August 26th, here at Harmony Church, we are going to have a sort of picnic Bible Alive celebration. Since we couldn't be together while we were doing Bible Alive, we want to all get together, socially distanced of course, and have a picnic to celebrate Bible Alive. And we'll sing the songs that we've done and we'll talk about the stories that we learned about and all the fun stuff with Bible Alive. We'll get to show each other how much we learned and just celebrate together what God did through Bible Alive. So we would love for you to come join us on August 26th. There'll be much more information about that on the Facebook page and on the Children's Ministry um, Facebook page as well. So keep a lookout for that and mark that on your calendars to be here with us on that day. So we're gonna pray and wrap up our last day. So let's pray. Father, we just worship you so much for Bible Alive and for bringing us all here together. And we know that it was not the way that we wanted to do it. We wanted to be maybe all in the same room, but we are aware that your name is glorified no matter how we talk about it, no matter what happens. Um, and so I just thank you for this opportunity to do virtual Bible Alive and to um, have it in our own homes on video and to talk about Moses and what you did for him. And thank you so much for sending Jesus to the cross for us and the fact that we can be in relationship with you because of what Jesus did and because of his blood that covers us. So we love you so much and thank you for each one of these kids and their families and their willingness to participate in our Bible, virtual Bible Live this year. And I just pray that you would bless them and keep them safe throughout the rest of their summer and the coming school year. In your name, amen. All right, thank you all for being here. We have enjoyed this so much, and hopefully we'll see you on August 26th so we can celebrate in person. Um, but if not, thank you so much for joining us for Bible Alive, and we'll see you soon. Bye.